Hey there, and welcome back to this week's episode of Dover Wednesday on Dabble Lab. Uh, this week we're going to talk about hosting a Google Action uh, built with the Jovo framework on Amazon Web Service uh, with AWS Lambda and an API gateway. Uh, so what I have right now is I have a Jovo project which you can find here. It's just a Hello World project and I already created a dialogue flow agent as I explained in previous episodes. So I have a test agent here in the fulfillment. You can see it's still using my local development endpoint and I also have the Google Actions integration set up. And so right now this still works with local debugging. So when I type in Jovo Run in my terminal, it opens the Jovo development server. You can see this is the same webhook that is used in the fulfillment section of Dialogflow. And then I can start talking to the device. Okay, Google. Talk to my test app. Okay, here's the test version of my test app. Hello world, what's your name? John. Hey John, nice to meet you. Okay, so the Google action works. Um, this is the typical Jovo Hello World project where it asks me for a name and then creates me. And that's it. And so when I want to test this app now, um, it doesn't work as well if I just use the, the Jovo local um, development webhook because I would have to run my computer all the time and so on. This is why typically people host their um, voice apps on the cloud environment like AWS Lambda, for example. And so um, I will walk you through this process on how to host it on AWS Lambda and then on how to create an API endpoint, which is necessary to create an endpoint that can later be used in Dialogflow. And so let's go to AWS. So go to the AWS, um, sign into the console, create an account if you don't have one. And there you can find the whole management console and you can either look here for services or look here. And so what you can find here is an overview of my existing Lambda functions and I'm gonna create a new one here. So I'm just gonna say, Jovo Hello World, for example, node 8.10 is important. So Jovo doesn't work with anything below 8.10. And so next we need to define a role and what we're gonna use is we're gonna use the Lambda basic execution role here. Um, and if you take a look in the IAM management console, um, you can find that this just has the AWS Lambda basic execution policies, such as the CloudWatch logs. And then that's it. Uh, what you could also do is you could create a new role, give it a name, and then define policies here, for example, the basic Lambda one. Okay, and so let's use an existing role, use this, and then create the function. So we created that. And so for an Alexa skill, what we would do is we would create an Alexa skills kit trigger. Um, disable skill ID verification for now, add this trigger, and then that would be it um, because we could just use this ARN here. And that's it. And so what we would do is we would copy that into the Alexa developer console and would use this as an endpoint and then we would be done after uploading our code. Um, but for Dialogflow, let's go back to the fulfillment again and, and try that out and, and copy that and try to save it. This says fulfillment URL is not valid. So this is not the URL where a dialogue flow could make re requests to. And so we would need to find, we, we need to find a way to access this Lambda function. And so, and for this, uh, we can use an API gateway. An API gateway helps in, in opening up the access to your Lambda functions and other services on AWS uh, that just have an ARN, an Amazon resource number. And so we can create an API gateway as a trigger here, and we will do that now. And so what we can do is we can create a new API um, just open the security app for now. And here so you can see the name, the deployment stage, and we can keep it like that and just add it here. So this will create an API gateway when we click on save. And so let's do this. Okay, 
So this seems to work. So we can copy that API endpoint and go to Dialogflow, add it here, click Save. And this time it worked. Okay. And so we just created an a Lambda function and an API gateway, which can then be used to access our code. So the last step that's missing is the actual code. What we can do is we can use the Jovo CLI to deploy the code, but we can also do it by hand, which is easier for now. And so Jovo has a command that's called npm run bundle. So this is a, a script that creates a bundle.zip file with a production installation of NPM um, and some other things, which makes it easier for you to deploy. And so if we now open this up, we can find that here's a bundle.zip file now. And because it was a production installation, it's smaller than just zipping everything. And so this is 2.1 megabytes. Okay, and so we can now use this and um, and upload it to the code. And so let's go there and click um, at function code, click on upload a zip file and click on bundle.zip. Click save and this should upload it now. So that's it. So we have uploaded our code. So you can find the code here. Sometimes it might be a little too large, but that's that's the code. And so what we uploaded to um, to Lambda is just the content that was inside the source folder because that's everything we need um, with the null modules file and so what the npm run bundle command does is it uses copies all the information from source into the bundle folder and also copies the package.json in there and does an npm production install and, and then zips it so that you can then upload it um, and here you can find everything so we have the app.js file um, we can even make updates. I forgot something. Save. Okay, so one more thing to recap. So we create an API gateway which has the following link. Um, we added this to the fulfillment endpoint on Dialogflow. When I'm now talking to um, my Google Home here, it should um, trigger from Dialogflow should trigger the API gateway. The API gateway is then going to trigger this Lambda function here and executing the code that I just uploaded. So let's try it out. Okay, Google, talk to my test app. All right, here's the test version of my test app. Hi, what's your name? John. Hey, John, nice to meet you. Okay. So that's it. And so this is how you can host your Google action built with the Jovo framework on AWS Lambda by using an API gateway. And uh, next time we can talk about how to use DynamoDB to store user specific data. And so let's see you then next week on Jovo Wednesday on Dabble Lab.